superheroes on one side, Fortnite Islanders on the other, a giant force of the Marvel multiverse itself bearing down on them all, eager to feast on the mystical infinite powers of the Fortnite Island to become the most dangerous being anyone has ever seen. What's going on guys? This is not your ordinary guy. This is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I was born to motivate you, man, to keep going past all your struggles, all your obstacles, all the negativity that comes in your life, all the storms and trials that you face every single day. You got somebody saying, hey, it's not over yet. Keep going. You're almost to the finish line, all right? So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through everything we need to know about season four's Nexus Wars storyline. In Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2, Midas went to war with an entity older than the current Fortnite universe itself. He went to war with the Storm. In an epic in-game event, we saw Midas' device face off against the powers of the Storm. And for one moment, it almost looked like he won. But the truth be told, he didn't. The device failed and the Storm reasserted its control over Fortnite's island. But there was more to the device event than we initially thought. In Chapter 2, Season 3, rifts began to open above and around the Fortnite island. There were signs of instability in the Fortnite universe, an instability that should have been dealt with at the end of Chapter 1 when the Seven dropped a meteor on the Nexus point. An instability that Midas and the device had reopened, but this time, something was different. The universe that the giant rift in the sky opened up to was none other than Earth-616, the primary timeline of the Marvel Universe. On the other side of that sky rift, a threat was approaching, a threat unlike any the Fortnite Island had ever seen before, the threat of Galactus. For those of you who have no idea who Galactus is, he's one of the most powerful beings in all of the Marvel Universe. He's a force of nature in the Marvel Universe, so intrinsically tied to the cosmic balance that he has to devour the energy of entire planets to sustain himself. He came from a universe before the Marvel Universe, a universe that was destroyed by something known only as the Black Winter. Galactus had a vision that Thor would be the one to kill him. And so in a bid to destroy the entity that destroyed his universe, Galactus imbued Thor with the power cosmic and named him the Herald of Thunder. Together, Galactus and Thor traveled through the Marvel Universe on a quest to find five special planets that when consumed would give Galactus a major boost in power. Perhaps enough of a power boost to be able to defeat the Black Winter. They managed to find the first planet and as his herald, Thor evacuated the planet ahead of Galactus' arrival so he could feast without harming anybody. But on their way to the second planet, in a slither of time before two moments, Thor and Galactus came across an interdimensional rift. This rift was exuding energies that Galactus had never sensed before, a previously unknown well of infinite power. If he were to consume it, he would have more than enough strength to take on the Black Winter and defeat it, or at the very least, it would be a substantial boom to his already immense cosmic power. Galactus was unable to resist and was drawn in by the power of Fortnite's universe. My memories are broken, but I know I brought these mighty warriors here to defend our reality. Thor sped ahead of Galactus in order to make it through the rift first, to warn the people of this strange new world of the impending threat that was rapidly speeding toward them. But when Thor made it to the island, he was struck by something, an ancient magic, somehow cutting clean through his own affinity with the power cosmic and the Thor force that ran through his veins as the rightful king of Asgard. He began to investigate this strange new island and slowly felt his memory slip away. But one memory stayed in his mind just long enough. After a brief scuffle with the inhabitants of the island, he looked skyward. The crack was still there, and the danger was still coming, but it was obvious the people of the Fortnite universe weren't going to help him. He needed reinforcements. High above this strange land is where we'll prepare to stand against him. Galactus, the devourer of worlds. Thor sent his two ravens, inherited from Odin, back through the rift above. With their mystic abilities, they found their way to the garden of the Bifrost, the Lady Sif. She summoned some of the strongest beings in the Marvel Universe, both heroes and villains alike, and brought them down to the world of Fortnite. They would protect it if only they could remember who they were and what their purpose on the island was. If they don't, all of reality would be at stake. This would not be the first time Galactus had got his mighty maw around a type of cosmic energy that he was not used to. 
In the past, when Galactus had a run-in with Doctor Strange, he fed on the energies of mystical worlds. At first, these energies acted as a poison to Galactus, but eventually, his body was able to adapt to the energies those mystic worlds provided him due to tampering from Dormammu. Galactus fed and fed on more mystical worlds and became more and more powerful until eventually, the universe began to crumble under the strain and Doctor Strange had to rebuild it all from the start. If Galactus were to start feasting on the strange and mystical energies of the Fortnite Island, who knows what the power of the storm could do if it were to merge with the cosmic entity of Galactus. We must remember who we are. Storm, Iron Man, Mystique, Doctor Doom, She-Hulk, Wolverine, and I am Groot. Over the course of the season, we will no doubt see the heroes and villains of the Marvel Universe slowly adapt to the magic that seems to stretch out across the Fortnite universe. They will slowly regain their powers and their memories, and new members of the Marvel cast will be summoned to join the war to battle against Galactus and the fight to save all of reality. Already across the Fortnite island, we can see the beginnings of a plan being enacted to protect the Fortnite world from the oncoming cosmic threat. Strange reflective panels have been erected in a circle on the Fortnite map, wrapping themselves around part of Steaming Stacks, the whole of Frenzy Farm, and part of Craggy Cliffs. It's unsure what the purpose of these panels or beacons currently are, but if the color scheme is anything to go by, they were designed and placed down by Tony Stark. Leaked information and brief glimpses from the Season 4 trailers have revealed that these beacons are in fact some kind of energy conduit, and when activated, they're going to create a dome of green energy that will surround the area. The only specifically green energy that we've seen in this season so far is the arcane energy of Doctor Doom. So the plan to combat Galactus seems to be a simple one. As we talked about it already, Galactus is unable to stomach arcane or mystical energy very easily. Primarily, Galactus is a being of science and natural order, and the chaotic energies of Doctor Doom's power would be the complete opposite of that. If Stark had created a way to amplify that power to protect a single point of the Fortnite Island or to trap Galactus within it, then this would be a pretty good explanation as to how this season is going to progress. All they would need to do is somehow get Doom on board with the plan. In truth, we already know how this season of Fortnite is going to end. In the mainline Marvel continuity, this point of time in Thor and Galactus' journey has already been and gone. All of this happens between two pages of a comic and was teased months ago on Marvel's Twitter. Somehow, the forces of Fortnite and the forces of Marvel will manage to put aside their differences and repel Galactus. Thor, Galactus, and assumably the rest of the heroes will escape the Fortnite universe as well, and the story will continue as it already has in the issues of Thor 2020 that have already been released. It's just a matter of getting there. But what about the rest of the Fortnite storyline? We can't forget how we got to this point, right? A war between Shadow and Ghost, Ego and Alter, all masterminded by Midas. While places like the Authority and the Fertilla do still exist, it seems like they've been all but abandoned by their leaders. One single Shadow Henchman still lives in the Authority, and he's very sad about the current state of affairs. While the whole building has been packed up, he still lives alone in a tent surrounded by Team Shadow posters. There's also a sad ghost henchman in Retail Row, who uses the microwave and watches TV now that there's no big battle against the Shadow faction for him to fight. What has happened to their leaders? We don't really know. All we know is that Midas, at the very least, is still alive. Two weeks ago, Fortnite revealed that a new bundle would be coming out for Fortnite in mid-November. It would be two DC skins, Poison Ivy and the Joker, but also a skin tied deep into the lore of Fortnite, Midas Rex. This new Midas Rex skin looks like a bad boy, man. Like, he's decked out in golden armor and has a piece of fabric on his front that is startlingly similar to the bony Golden King Oro, which fans have long since predicted Midas will somehow transform into. These skins will release on November 17th, meaning the next step of Minus' story will be playing out right at the end of the current Marvel-inspired season. Will he somehow become involved with the plan to defeat Galactus? He's got experience with battling dangerous, powerful threats, even if he didn't necessarily win the confrontation. Generations is complete. The great error is corrected. The day of victory is at hand. The day of revenge. The Day of the Sith. The lore of Fortnite is deep and confusing. 
Over the past few years, there have been many crossover events in the world of Fortnite, ranging from a Star Wars event that had lightsabers, Jedi, Sith, and even Star Destroyers arrive at the island. Last chapter before the release of Borderlands 3, a whole piece of Pandora somehow wound up on the map as a location that you can visit. Fortnite is a nexus, in this sense meaning a central or focal point that connects multiple things. All of these worlds and universes cross over in Fortnite. They exist alongside one another and, once again, looking to Donald Muster's Twitter, all of that might not just be an advertisement. He tweeted a while ago that everything was connected, and while at first it might have just seemed like he was just referencing the ongoing Marvel event and the pre-established story, it feels like he might have meant it in a deeper way than that. What if every crossover, every single skin from another property all somehow tied into the Fortnite storyline? What would that mean for the world of Fortnite and the story that we're all experiencing? We do know for certain is that the rest of this season and the implications on the Fortnite story will be world shattering. New leaks of an upcoming location called the Collector's Museum have been revealed and those leaks actually show elements of Chapter 1 universe. Things like the clock tower in Tilted and a fragment of the meteor, things that should have been deleted from existence by the black hole when the Chapter 1 universe was destroyed. There's also the fact that this season seems to be mimicking events that happened in the first chapter as well. An upcoming threat coming crashing down from above, a dusty diva made by an object crashing into the ground. Are we still really caught in some sort of time loop like Agent Jonesy suggested? I suppose we all have to wait till Hightower to occur to learn more as we all hurtle toward whatever Zero actually is. All right, guys, once again, this is Your Motivation Guy. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Thanks so much for watching, my family. Bunch of Crunch Army. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and click that all important bell button so you can get a notification whenever we upload a new video. And keep eating that Bunch of Crunch, and let's get this going.